Welcome back. So it's time to build the REST API for Windows now and we're going to meet some collision here and there because here we're actually talking about a completely, on the wire we're talking about a completely different uh, protocol than what we're going to talk about over here. So over here on the REST API we're going to have what we call the CRUD setup which is create, read, update and delete, right? CRUD. But here we're going to use the HTTP request and that has some other names for the same thing. So it, instead of um, the create it has to post Instead of um, read, it has get. Instead of update, it has put. And instead of uh, delete, it has delete. Okay, they were kind of the same, but you get the point. So let's try and figure out how do we actually make these two and what is the goal? Because we want to, of course, be able to write in a browser. We want to be able to write our cool website slash API slash customers to get all customers back or something like that. So I found a tutorial and I really think this is one of Microsoft's great tutorials. They've made something very good here. Uh, I put the link in the description, one for Windows and one for Mac, and it's pretty much just about how to create a web API with ASP.NET Core in Visual Studio. Cool, that's all we're using, so that's very lucky. I'm scrolling down here, and um, <clears throat> this is kind of what we want to build. And notice again, we have the commands here for the CRUD setup, where this is the read part, this is the create part, this is the uh, update part, and this is the delete part. So it's pretty much just for us to get all items, or get a single item, for adding a new item, for updating an item and for deleting an item, right? And these are the what's actually going to be in the body and we're going to talk about that because that's where the JSON will reside. Okay, awesome. Let's just keep moving because there's a lot to learn. This is a drawing kind of like mine. You might know it's almost the same thing, right? Uh, so if I look at my drawing, oh, oops, wrong direction. There we go. So here we have the web. If I go back here, here we have the web. And here we have the client, which is in our case, the Angular app. If I go back here, we have something called client. Etc. Etc. Here we have the backend, and here they have a backend with a controller in that case, and a model and data access layer. So they're kind of made a simpler model, and again, that is definitely possible to do. But we're going to use our new nice, nice model. When we scroll down further, they also also talk about using Postman or the curl command. We're going to use Postman. Uh, there are other ones out there like um, Restify. I think that's for Firefox. So there's also a chance there if you don't want to use Postman. But I'll explain all these things to you as we scroll further down. We talk a bit about the model, they talk a bit about the controller. Now we're going to change this around a bit, so it's not that important right now. The pre-request for actually doing this is actually .NET Core 2.0 for this one, or later. That's why we just updated. So let's continue down. Um, we have to create a new project here, and I think I'm going to short this, uh, stop this video now, and then next lesson we're going to make it for Windows, and then after we're going to make it for Mac, because this is kind of going to be very specific for each system. But it's not that much. So you can just start looking at it. But notice right here we're actually using the command for actually getting all values and that's what we're going to do next lesson. So we're going to start using the browser now to actually start grabbing data from REST API next lesson. See you next time.